Hi everybody, it's Wednesday. I'm going to give you a shop update where I'm at this week, what we've been doing, and what's been going on. I want to congratulate Andrew Klein. Andrew Klein was the winner of the 9-11 plaque uh, that I scroll sawed out. That was for my subscribers, the subscription uh, contest that I had. So congratulations, Andrew. <clears throat> if you haven't seen Andrew's channel, uh, he has a YouTube channel as well. I'll leave a link to it down below so you can click on it and take a look. Um, he's got some uh, nice things going on there and uh, check him out. I wanted to thank all the woodworkers at Maritime Woodworking, uh, our Canadian friends, uh, Jason and Matt and uh, Trevor. I appreciate you allowing me to draw the name live on your show uh, this past Saturday night. If you haven't checked out their show, please do so. It's just a bunch of woodworkers getting together, average Joes, just people talking about what's been going on in their shop, what they're up to, uh, tools they're using, projects they're working on. Uh, it's just a fun time. So I encourage you to watch that as well. The show comes on at 7 p.m. Eastern time here in the United States. Uh, so depending on your time zone, I'm not sure where, where and when it would come on. Um, but uh, they did that on purpose, which was, I thought, uh, very kind. Uh, they could have done it anytime they wanted, but that same night on Saturday nights at 8 o'clock, Brian Gidney with the Summers Woodworking Show has a show at 8 o'clock. Uh, the Summers Woodworking has went a little bit further out when it comes to uh, the, the type of woodworker that's on their show, uh, so it's more on a watch basis. So uh, congratulations to Brian for you know moving up in the world with uh, his show, and, and uh, I wish him all the best been finishing up some odd and end stuff trying to get the shop in order to be able to work a little bit more uh, shop friendly trying to clean up some uh, old scrap stuff uh, also trying to get my daughter's hope chest together we've been working on that a uh, little bit been filming that I keep saying I'm gonna put it out on Wednesday on Wednesday on Wednesday I'm gonna stop saying that because I, I don't know when to be out but I promise you it will be out we are doing it uh, it's just a matter of timing. Uh, my daughter was sick last week and we wasn't able to work on it a whole lot. I had uh, stuff going on at work with inventory and uh, different things like that. So um, the hope chest is coming and I'm really trying to use this hope chest as a sounding board for a lot of the things I've learned over the last six months with the YouTube channel, the other videos I've watched and learned. So um, this isn't gonna be a typical video that I would put out. It is gonna be something I think is uh, worth putting out to give people an idea, but um, I, I'm still using the basic fundamentals and the basic uh, items that I have to work with to make this hope chest. So this isn't going to be a, uh, a hope chest like I think you would buy at a store or uh, the, the image that my daughter gave me is something uh, rustic looking, but it's still neat and orderly. Uh, but it's woodworking related, so um, I, I'm not using fancy um, dovetails. I'm not using uh, all these things simply because I don't know how, but it shouldn't stop you from creating something. And the best part about the whole thing is just working with her and showing her some things and being able to, to work with my daughter on it. And hopefully this will be a keepsake for her down the line and you know if, if not then it's not but um, it's definitely something that i've had fun with it's just taking a little bit longer than i wanted to so i was at clean spores um, today and i picked me up a bench clamp uh, i'm going to drill a hole in my bench to be able to put this down in it and uh, use it as a bench clamp i don't have one so uh, i've been wanting to get this since woodworking in america when i saw it there so i'm going to try to make my own and see how that goes uh, also, uh, this coming weekend on the 17th and 18th, I'll be at the Clean Spores Extravaganza Woodworking Show in Hickory, North Carolina. If you're out in that area and you're by the convention center, uh, stop in. If you see me, say, hey, I'd love to meet you. Uh, love to, to be able to sit down and uh, talk with you. So uh, look forward to that weekend. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, Laney uh, Shaughnessy will be there as well. So I'm looking forward to seeing Laney again and uh, we just want to have a good time and we're working fellowship and and talk about uh, what we're doing in our shops uh, look at all the vendors and there's going to be some presentators there and this one is all free when it comes to um, clean spores theirs is uh, free parking free uh, entry uh, free everything so the only thing that's not going to be free is what you decide to buy when you're there so you need to go down and check it out if you're in that area 
Uh, I'll be there on Friday and Saturday. I'll probably have a small uh, shop built uh, for next week. Um, just something, not, not the hope chest, but something small to get you a project because I haven't done a project since the birdhouse, which I put that on a Monday uh, instead of a Wednesday, simply because the deadline was that Monday, so I had to do it a couple of days early. And uh, that was the only reason behind that. I apologize for not putting anything out on Wednesday, letting you know what's going on. But that's what I'm doing today is just kind of updating you on where I'm at uh, this week and where I'm at with the hope chest and what's been going on uh, here at the shop. So. So that's about it, really. I don't have a lot going on, but uh, got some new projects that's coming up. I will have them out uh, to you here soon. Um, definitely I'll have one out next Wednesday. I've actually got it filmed. I just have to edit it and I'll have it ready to go. Uh, a few things I gotta film on it, but uh, it's pretty much done. So I'll have that out ready to go Wednesday. And then uh, very soon after the hoop chest will be out. And uh, I'm looking forward to getting that done uh, with Amber. So. Appreciate you watching. Thanks for subscribing. And please remember, be kind to one another.